Okay guys, so I was handing this key and I was like, oh god, no, not one of these. Land Rover. So, we got this 2011, I think it is, Land Rover. Uh, I was LR4. And their complaint is, I guess the rear hatch doesn't, un doesn't open. And it's an HSE model. And, like, the lock and unlock works. You can... Like, you can hear the doors unlock and lock. And when you press this, you can hear... I don't know if it's the top part that it's undoing, or if it's the bottom. I'm assuming it's the top because of the photo. I don't really work on too many of these. But, like... It's completely locked, like you can't, it's not releasing. So I'm wondering if we can like fold down these seats in here and then climb in the back. What I'm hoping is that we can remove some of this plastic trim or something back here. Cause I know a lot of vehicles, you can pop some of the trim off back here, or at least pry it out enough that you can get to the lock assembly and manually release the lock to get this open because we gotta get this top part open and then we'll have to see if the bottom opens. I'm assuming the bottom may just like pull down then or something once the top's open. But like, I don't make too many videos working on these because I really hate working on Land Rovers. Like finding information's hard for me because I don't do a lot of them so there's no need for factory information. But we'll see what we can do here. So I'll quick do a little bit of research, see if we can get this panel off, see how this lock works. And we'll go from there. Baby steps. So guys, we gotta get this bottom part off here. So what I did was I used one of my picks for doing coolant, like for uh, taking coolant hoses off. And I pried it underneath there. And I'm hoping we can like start working our way around and pulling this carpet out. I'll probably have to do this with, uh, uh, with two hands, but I used this. I went up, turned it. Actually, I went up like this, hooked it behind her, and then started pulling it out. So hopefully we can pop this carpet out and not damage it. And then we can get into our latch assembly, because our latch assembly is like right here. So I tried popping this off, because it was really easy, hoping that the latch was right there. But nope, it's underneath here, so we're going to go there. Hopefully we can get this open. So guys, I got the panel pulled back, and I... Pulled the foam away right here so that we can get in there. And now we can see our lock assembly or our latch assembly on the camera. So watch this. I'm going to press the key fob and try to release it and you'll see what happens. See it tries to pull that, but it doesn't pull it that far. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to take this coat hanger, put this down there. I'm going to bend the end and we'll see if we can unlatch, unlatch this. So look at this guys, so this is the actuator right here I think, where it pulls. So if I press the unlock button for the hatch, you can see it pulls it down. And this plate's all the way over here, so I'm going to try to stick the coat hanger in. And then actuate this and press on this actuator at the same time to try to get slightly more travel to see if it pops. I wonder if maybe this just needs like adjustment. I don't know if these have adjustment, but you can see it pull. See, now it's not pulling as much, and then it stops. So I'm wondering if this actuator is just failing too, because now it's not doing anything. But you could see, like, it didn't pull as much that last time. So guys, I got my cable pushing right on the actuator right there. You can see it. And I went up to show you right where I went through. I don't know if I can get a good angle on this. But yeah, I just went straight down in the door right here, and there's a little hole. But the camera's working great to show this, so I'm going to try to pop it. I probably won't be able to show you guys this. I might be able to record it and then play it back. So guys, I did it. Let's see if I can show you guys where I went through. Let's see if this will focus. It might not focus, but there's a little hole in the metal right down there. And then it popped. Let me bring up, see if I can bring up the video and I'll show you guys. Here you guys go. Let's see, you'll see, start twisting a little bit, and then I just pushed. And then the latch popped. And 
There it went. And that was the latch release and I just pushed it. Worked perfectly. So guys, I, I undid the screws. There was three screws that went around here. They were these. And uh, I think they screw into the plastic. Yeah, they screw into the plastic in there when they go through. But, uh, and they had these plastic caps on the top, or rubber cap. I guess they're more like a rubber. But now, now we can open this panel. I guess we'll have to, uh, take these, uh, uh, like supports off. We'll probably have to support the tailgate or put something under the tailgate to support it so we can get this carpet off. And once we get the carpet off, we can look inside of this. So here's our issue. This this mounts this way inside of here. I go right underneath this panel. You just loosen the bolts up and slide it off. So this is our actuator. So if we press the button on here, you'll see it doesn't pull all the way. It needs to pull that far. And we're not pulling that far. We're only pulling like halfway. So let's see. See, it's not enough. Or a latch trip now. I tripped a latch. Let's see. So there we go. Let's hold some pressure down on that. See, it doesn't go enough. What we need, we need to go that far. And then that'll unlatch the latch. It's hard to do it one-handed. But... Yeah, it's really hard to do one hand, and so if we push down on this, there we go, see that? Let's try that again. So if we press this key fob, I don't think we latched all the way. There we go, now we latched all the way. So here we go, so let's press this key fob. See, it's not enough to release this. I'm pushing down on it with my hand. So if we push this, Boom. Look at that. So that's our problem right here because this moves pretty freely by hand. Like everything in here moves. Let's see if I can get you guys a good view. Let's see. Let's go in here. There you go. So now if I pull the. You can see it pulling. So we're gonna have to get a new actuator. I'll see if I can get one and we'll go from there So guys, I got my amp clamp hooked up right here. I want to see how much current this pulls when we press this So let's see let's See if we can see this There we go, that's what it looks like I don't know how well this shows up for you guys let's See if I can move it over a little bit So there you go that's what it looks like when the bad one turns on. So now, from Land Rover, they sell it as a kit. Got a new latch assembly right here. I don't know why, but there's, there's also a sensor on the latch. And then we got a whole new actuator assembly right here. So, I guess I gotta take the latch off and we'll put this in. And then we'll scope this one and we'll see what this one does. Okay guys, so you have to put the new cable into here. So I stuck that in there. I'm gonna screw it down. Looks like the, I don't know if the old one, doesn't look like the old one had a cover, ever, because it doesn't look like any of the thru, screw holes were threaded, where this one has a cover, so I don't know if maybe that's their fix for the issue, is that this one came with the cover on, so it just sits on here, I guess it snaps on, there we go. So yeah, I guess this is their fix. I don't know if maybe it's water getting in there or something. No idea. But we're gonna get this put back in and then we'll see if it works and we'll scope it. Okay guys, so I got the new one hooked up, so let's press this. I don't know if you heard that. Let's see what it looks like. Let's 
go back to that. Zoom out just a little bit. We'll move over. Look at the difference in that one, guys. Pulling like six amps. The other one was like, what, like 14 or so? And look how it like flat lines. Because it pulls it and it holds it. So I'll, I'll blow these up for you guys so you guys can see them better, but I'm gonna get this back together. I think this is confirmed fix. Guys, I can't believe how sticky this stuff is. Like it all stuck back down. I thought I was gonna have to like re-glue it or tape it because I don't really want any wind noise, but it seems to have all stuck back down. So I can get the cover, put the cover back on. I might lift this up first, make sure that it works. I guess we can lift it up first, make sure it works. And then, uh, let's see. Here we go. Put that up. Let's close this top piece. See if it works by this. Oh, look at that. Just can't. There we go. Just can't pull it one handed. Let's see if the push button works. There we go. Guess it doesn't spring it out on its own. So I'm going to get this all covered back up. Double check it one more time, but I think we're good to go. So, guys, let's see if it works. So, this one works. Let's see if the other one works. Look at that. I got all the caps on the screws. Let's see if the remote works. Let's see, maybe I can do this one handed. Let's see. Yes. There we go. Because it doesn't pop it out all the way, I guess. It's like a safety. There we go. Look at that. Firm fix, guys. Hope you guys like it. See you later. Okay, guys. So, wanted to show you guys a couple captures. Let's switch to capture. So, here's our bad capture, okay? So this is our bad one. Look at our current. Look how high our current went. This is on the door latch. Well, the glass actuator. So look at how high that is. That's that's what? Almost... Hang on, we can actually drag our cursor over. That's like almost 17 amps. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Let's see. Zoom in. We'll go to 64. Here we go. We'll zoom into 32. Look at that. There we go. So actually, we're gonna have to bring our cursors up. Let's see cursors show. So look at this. So this was toggled on, and we'll zoom up a little bit more. Let's go down to 16. There we go, look at that. So let's see how high this went. I think we have pulses to almost 17 amps. You can see down here in the corner it says 15.8. Zoom in a little bit more on this capture. So you guys can see what's happening here is I think the thing was binding up because we have this drop coming down and then it goes back up, a drop comes down, drop comes down, and then this is where it held. But it wasn't pulling enough. Let's see. Just wanted to get that top piece if we can. Yeah, it says 16 right there. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the top. There we go. 16.1 over here, according to that spot. But you can see how high this went up. So now if we go to the other one, let's go to this other one. So here's our good. Let's zoom this one out. So this is what the good looks like. A lot different, isn't it? So if we zoom in on this one. 
and I'll tell you guys what's going on here. So we'll zoom in more. It's going one at a time so you guys can see the difference. So here's what's happening with this one. So right here, this is our this is where it rushes in to move this actuator, okay? So let's see. Actually let's put our cursors on. I keep forgetting that that thing doesn't measure. So we'll put our cursors on. Look at this. So right here. You can see we're pulling five amps. Actually, let's see if we can move this in. So here we go, we pull five amps initially or so. Four and a half right here, cursor one, four and a half. Over here is five for cursor two. So I'll use this as a pointing device. So right here we have our initial current draw. And then right here it starts moving and it drops down. Let's see what that drops down to. So we drop down to 1.3 amps, okay? And then you can see it pulls back up. And this is where it's holding it open. This whole flat spot right here, this whole thing, from here to here is where it's holding the latch open. Like so you can lift the glass. So isn't that awesome, guys? Our differences, let's see. Can we put these side by side? Might be able to put these side by side for you guys. Get get these away for you. There you go. There we go, guys. Let's, let's zoom this one out. Maybe. Can I not zoom out now? Zoom out. Zoom in just a little bit more. There you go, guys. They're on the exact same scale. Big difference, isn't it? So I hope you guys like it. See you later.